In this video, I'm going to show you how to display custom tabs in member profiles and in social groups in the Buddy Boss app. I'm referring to tabs that were registered using custom code or that come from third-party plugins that insert tabbed content into profiles or groups. For example, these tabs here on my profile for listings, favorites, and reviews. These are all coming from the GeoDirectory plugin. This has been one of the most requested features from our app customers, and so we're really excited to bring this to you. To get this feature, please update your BuddyBoss app plugin and BuddyBoss platform to the latest versions, and then make sure to generate a new app build. All right, now let's go into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to enable this new feature. Here I am in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app settings, and you can see we've added a new settings area for compatibility. And so then we have these settings here for custom tabs. This first option is to enable custom profile tabs in BuddyBoss app. I'll go ahead and check this. And right now, all of the third-party tabs that currently display in member profiles on my website are going to automatically display in profiles in the app as well using web fallbacks. And then we have the second option to enable custom group tabs in BuddyBoss app. So if I check that, then all of the third-party tabs that currently display in social groups on the website will automatically display in those same social groups in the app as well. And then we can click Save Changes. Before we jump into the app, let me quickly show you the plugins that I have configured on this website for generating third-party tabs. There are many plugins that will add their own custom tabs into profiles and groups. For this demo, I'm using these plugins on my site. We know that these two plugins are very popular and a lot of our customers are using them. BuddyPress Groups Tabs Creator Pro allows you to configure custom tabs in your social groups. And BuddyPress User Profile Tabs Creator Pro allows you to configure custom tabs into member profiles. These plugins are compatible with both BuddyPress and BuddyBoss platform, of course. And I've used these two plugins to set up some tabs in my profiles and groups. And then I've also installed GeoDirectory this is a popular directory listing plugin for WordPress. And then I've also added the GeoDirectory BuddyPress integration, which automatically adds tabs for directory listings, favorites, and reviews into member profiles. I've also added WP Job Manager, a popular jobs plugin for WordPress. The way I have this plugin set up, it's not adding a jobs tab directly into my profile automatically, but it does have a WordPress page for displaying all of the jobs which the logged in user has posted. This is your jobs dashboard page, which is created by the plugin. I've gone ahead and manually added this page as a tab into member profiles when viewing your own profile by using the BuddyPress user profile tabs creator pro plugin options. We can see that this tab that I manually added for jobs is here. So I can click that. And of course it takes me to my job dashboard where I can see all of the jobs that I've posted into WP job manager. And so now I have this nice link to all of my jobs from my profile. And then we also have these tabs for listings, favorites, and reviews, which are coming from GeoDirectory. Let's click on listings. So you can see it's showing me a page of directory listings. You'll also notice that when viewed from my profile, these tabs have number counters in them, showing the number of items that each tab contains. This works in the app as well. If I make the website super skinny, you can see how this looks in a responsive view, which is relevant since this is going to be displayed in a web fallback in the app. And you can see we have our profile header area and then the profile navigation. And then below all that, we have the content. I'll show in a little while how we're handling all of this in the app. Let me also show you what I've set up for groups. and I'll click to open a group. And you can see this custom tab here for how to. This is a WordPress page that I've added to all groups to help them understand how to use groups. So let's go back to the group and I'll show you where this tab is coming from. If I go into group tabs, and I'll click on group tabs. And you can see I've configured this tab here called how to. And I've linked the tab to this how to use groups page. 
So now let's go see how all of this works in our app. Make sure to hard quit your app after enabling these settings so you can see the changes appear in the app. And then let's go into my profile. And in the profile, we can see my listings, favorites, and reviews tabs. And as I mentioned, these are all automatically displaying the count indicators as well. And we can also see our jobs tab. Let's tap on listings. And it's loading my listings nicely in a web view. Because this profile tab is being registered by a third party plugin, we cannot predict its content in advance and we don't have custom APIs written for that content. So that is why we display this type of content in web fallbacks. Let's tap to view this listing. And you can see the title of the specific listing is showing in the title bar. And I can go back. And the title of the previous web page is showing in the title bar now. You may recall that in the website, the responsive layout for this page included the full profile header with the cover photo and avatar, as well as profile navigation before you got to the actual content. But for this web view, that's all gone. We've added special code into BuddyBoss platform so that it can detect when a web view is being loaded within a profile or group tab. And then if that's the case, we automatically strip out the profile or group header from the view. And of course, we also strip out the theme header and footer. This way, these web views fit in seamlessly with the rest of the profile tabs. As we navigate back and forth and come back to the profile area, we have our navigation here and the profile header at the top here already. So we wouldn't want to repeat the header and navigation in the interior tabs as well. So we've taken care of that automatically for you. Next, let's go check out the job dashboard that we added into the profile earlier. And we can see our list of posted jobs using the responsive web view. I can edit the job from in here. I can also view the job. And then I can go back to my profile. So as you can see, this experience is really nice. These tabs feel like they belong in the app. Now let's go check out a group. And then if I scroll down, we can see that our how to page was added. And then from here, the member can read the instructions for how to use groups. I think most of you are going to really enjoy this update. It provides a lot more flexibility and allows for much more of your web content to be usable in the app. We want the BuddyBoss app to be as flexible as possible. And so as time goes on, we'll continue to add more options like this to give you more control over the content and layout of your app.